Here's how to color correct video for beginners quickly and easily. This will help you create awesome looking videos without needing to master pro level software. And I'll also share some cool AI color correction tools that are changing the game with what's possible. So I'm gonna show you how to do it first with basic tools, the things that you would find in most video editing software. And then I'm gonna move on to some more pro and AI options as well. All right, so for this first example, I've just opened up VN Video Editor, which is an amazing free video editing tool and on iOS, on Android, and on Mac. And I've got a clip here in the timeline that we're going to correct. So no matter what tool you're using, you wanna bring up your color controls. So to do that here, I'm gonna select the clip. I'm gonna come over here to our color controls. And then in a lot of programs these days, you're gonna have a choice between applying filters, which are essentially like preset grades or looks that you could apply to your video. So obviously if you find something in here that is exactly what you're after, then by all means you can use that. But I'm gonna go back to original here. So we're gonna disregard the filters. The other way that you can do it is to come over here to adjust and this is where you'll open up your manual control. So in this case here with VN, we're given a bunch of sliders to control all the different elements. Now I wanna stress here with anything color grading, color correcting, it is a creative thing, it's personal preference. And we just wanna use these tools then to dial in the look that we're after. But the first place I'll always start is with the exposure or the brightness. We're gonna grab this slider, you can see if we drag it one way, it's gonna brighten the shot up, drag it the other way and it's gonna darken the shot down. So you wanna make the adjustment here as you need need to. So in this case, I'm going to brighten this up a bit. From there, I'll come down to the color temperature. So this will either add more blue or make the shot more cool, or it'll add more yellow or orange to make it a warmer shot. From there, I would look for the contrast slider. So we can see as we move this around, we're washing out the image a bit. This way here, we're making it more contrasty. We're darkening the blacks, we're boosting some of the colors a little bit. So in our case here, this shot here is a little washed out. So we're going to boost the contrast here to bring some of that back. Now from there, I'd be looking for a vibrance control to help us adjust the intensity of the colors in things like our skin tones. We can see if we dial this down, we're taking some color away. If we boost it up the other way, then we're bringing more of that color back. And you can see if we go too far, that's probably a little bit extreme. So maybe something around here. Now let's just do a quick preview before and after. So I'm gonna hit this little button down here. This is before, this was the original, and this is where we're at right now, just from making these minor changes. So these are the main tools that I'd be looking for and this is the order that I would approach them. And once you're getting this looking close to the way you'd like it, you can actually come back through some of these and just make more minor adjustments because you might find after you've adjusted some of these things that you might wanna brighten it back up a little bit or add a little bit more color. And obviously there's more control in here to really help you dial some of this stuff in. But in most cases, these are the main tools that you're going to use. All right, another example for you, I'm over in CapCut now with the same clip imported. CapCut is another great video editing tool on Windows, on Mac, on iOS, on Android. And it's got a lot of the same color controls and functionality that we just saw in VN. If we select a clip here, we can come up to filters and there's a bunch of different looks and filters that we can apply to our clip. And if we select our clip, come over here to adjustments, Let's scroll down. You can see that we've got a lot of those same controls here as well with the color temperature, the saturation, the brightness contrast. It's got illumination here instead of exposure, but it's the same thing. You can see we're adjusting the brightness here. So you'll see that a lot of these tools and applications will have a lot of the same functionality. But if we come up here to the top, then we also now have this auto adjustment tool here inside of CapCut 2. Now, generally for years, it was like a general rule to not use the built-in auto adjustment features for color grading or color correcting inside of these tools because they were that bad. In a lot of cases, they would make the footage worse. But you can see the CapCut's now added this as well. It is marked as a pro feature. So this is something that you will need to be on their pro plan. But if we select this, then you can see that it does a pretty good job of correcting this for us. And we can adjust the strength here as to how intense that effect or the effects that it's applying here to our video are coming through. So again, a quick little before and after. This is before. This is after, not bad, but we still have the ability down here as well to make further adjustments to these things. So if we wanted to adjust the contrast from here, we've got access to that slider here as well, to boost some of the colors a little bit, but we're not starting from scratch with this, which I think is awesome. So this is the first time I've ever really recommended that the auto adjustment tool could be a useful thing for you. Now, CapCut does have a whole bunch of AI tools and things in here. From what I've found, this one has no mention of this being an AI adjustment here. I mean, it could well be now, or if it's not yet, then maybe it will be at some point in the future. But either way, I'm pretty impressed with how well this works.
Now, a lot of video editing tools these days will also pack in a lot of more pro or advanced color correction tools in here too. So up here, we've got things like your hue, your saturation, your luminance control. So we can really dial things in. So let's go to this orange here and let's adjust orange here in our shot. So I'll just adjust this slider. We can see that we're making adjustments to just that color. Likewise, if we pick say blue here, maybe for the background, we could adjust that too. So now it's looking a bit more purple. We can then even amplify the amount of color with the saturation here. As you can see, we're bringing out more purple here. So you can really get granular with this stuff in here too. Again, more pro level options. So I'm actually gonna come back here. I'm gonna delete our clip here before I show you the next couple. Let's just bring our clip back in here as it was in its original form. And instead of doing our basic corrections or playing around with the HSL here, let's jump over to Curves, which again is another more pro level tool. And again, I'm gonna try and keep this as a beginner tutorial here, but I want to show you what you have access to. So as you progress, you know you've got access to these tools to really dial things in. So I'm going to click on this line here and I'm going to add two points. And this one here is going to let us adjust the darker areas of our shot. So if I pick this up and I move it up, it's going to brighten them up. And if I pull it down, it's going to bring those down. It's going to darken them up. Likewise, up here, this is going to have the same effect, but for the lighter areas of our shot. So if I lift this up, then the light areas are going to become lighter. So you can see we're able to add some contrast to our shots just by adding what they call a simple contrast curve here by adjusting these points and moving them around and add in some more points here. Now you're not just limited to these two points. You could really add points anywhere along here and make minor adjustments to things to again, get the shot that you're looking at. But you can also do it on an individual color channel as well. So we could just adjust the reds, the greens and the blues from here too. And then the last tab over here is the color wheels. This is another common, more professional tool that you can use to adjust things in your video. So you can see we've got control over the shadows or the dark areas, the mid tones for tint, for offset. And on these color wheels here, we can actually pick up this center mark and we can move it around. So if we want to add more orange, we can drag this little pointer here towards the orange. Likewise, we want more blue, we can slide it towards the blue. And we don't have to move this much to really be able to adjust the colors here. So let's say we want to make adjustments to the shadows or the dark areas. And again, we can grab this piece here and we can move that around. And there's also these sliders on either side of these to adjust the brightness. So if we want to brighten up the dark areas, the shadows in this case of our shot, we can do that here, lift that up or darken them down. And we've also got saturation on this side or intensity of this. So we could add more color, more saturation. So I mean, that actually doesn't look too bad or we can take some of the color out. So the further down we go here, we're removing the color. So we'll end up with a black and white video. As I said, the basic tools are going to be more than enough for you, but know that you can come in here, you can tweak and adjust and play around with things in here as well to really get the look that you're after. So a before and after of our color wheel adjustments here, not bad. Now, in terms of pricing, right now you can get CapCut Pro for $7.99 per month. If you're jumping on an annual plan, it's a one-time $9.99 for a one-off month, or you can access it for $74.99 per year. Now, the next tool I wanna show you is an AI tool that's actually built into Adobe Premiere. So yes, you will need to have an Adobe Premiere subscription to be able to access this one, but I wanna show you how far the AI stuff has actually come along. So in Adobe Premiere, you wanna make sure that you've got their Lumetri color panel enabled, which you can come up to window at the top and just select that here. And this again is very similar to what you've seen already in this video from VN and from CapCut. You've got your basic color controls here, which they actually call basic correction. You've also got access to the curves and the color wheels and everything from this section too. But in order to access their AI tool now, it's back up here under basic correction and we hit auto. Now, this one they say uses their Adobe Sensei AI to make the adjustment for us. So we're gonna hit auto here and you can see the adjustment that it's made. And it's really not that bad. To me, it's probably a little bit over saturated or a little bit too contrasty, but again, it is personal preference. And if we look at a before and after here, enabled and disabled, I mean, it does look better than the original for sure. 
but it's probably a little bit too intense. So we could just come down here to intensity and we could lower that down. And to me, that's looking much better. But if we look down here even further, we can actually see the adjustments that have been applied to our clip. So if we wanna dial things in, we wanna adjust the contrast or the exposure, make it a little bit brighter, a little bit darker, then we can do that from here too. Now, just to test this AI with a different clip, I'm gonna go ahead now and import a different one. Let's try this one here. So we've got a much darker shot here. Let's see what the AI does with this one. So we've got the clip selected. Let's come up here to auto and it's brightened it up. Now we can adjust the intensity of these adjustments again. So we could boost this up a little bit. Okay, lightens up the background a bit more. Now we could probably even then dial in the saturation a little bit more just to boost the colors a little bit. But overall, if we look at a before and after, so that was before, this is after. Well done, Adobe AI. Now in regards to pricing for Adobe Premiere Pro, you can access it monthly on a month to month basis for $31.49 per month. If you're paying annually monthly, that's $20.99 per month. Or if you wanna pay it once annually, that's $239.88. There's one more tool that I wanna show you and that's called Film.ai. This is another AI based color grading and color correction tool. And there is so much in here. It says here, meet your AI colorist. So I've just signed up on their free account. I'm gonna log in. So when you log in, this is what you'll see. I then hit this little button here to upload some media. So I've selected our clips. I've got two here. This washed out one is the one that we've been already playing with throughout this video. The first thing we need to do in here is that we need to select the type of footage this is, or we select which camera this was shot on. So I'm just gonna select Rec 709 for this one. And then there's just so many tools and things in here. It's pretty amazing. But I'm gonna show you the AI stuff. We're then gonna come down to add a tool and you can see the amount of tools that are in here. We've got things like AI color match, AI auto color, which is what we'll be playing with, AI color extract. But there's also their new one up here, which is neural tone. So we'll take a look at that one too. So let's just go AI auto correct here. Let's select on that one. So it's automatically gone through, it's analyzed our clip and it's adjusted it for us. So we can disable this, we can turn it on or off and we can see what the difference here is. But there is this setting that's on here, favor context. And it says that this will perform a color correction, but within the original context of the image. So if the original image is dark and cold, then the AI autocorrect is going to try and preserve that feeling. So it's going to create you a look that is still dark and cold, but adjusted. So in this case, I'm gonna actually turn that off. So we want no context as to how this was shot. Let's turn that off. And this is the look that this has now pulled out for us. Down the bottom here, we've got our opacity slider or our intensity slider so we can adjust to the strength of these effects or this look that it's applied, but it's not done a bad job. And again, you've got so many different tools and things that you could add in here to make more adjustments. So if you then wanted to adjust the skin tones or adjust your exposure, your white balance, all of these things, you can do all of these things in here too. So I'm gonna remove this effect now we're going to hit the x i'm going to come down here to add a tool and then i'm going to add this neural tone and then over on the side here we get to choose which one of these we like the look of now obviously i think this light in the background is throwing this out a little bit same with some of the other tools as well but we get to scroll down here and say which ones we like the look of here so maybe we'll pick this one down the bottom here we can click through them to see what they look like. But the idea is that we're training the AI here. We're giving the AI feedback as to which one we like the look of. And then we can again dial in things like the exposure of this, the contrast levels, your white balance and tint, and we can apply all of the other effects and things in here too. So a before and after here with this effect applied. Now let's try the other clip here, JB Cool. So this one's a much cooler shot as in color temperature. We'll come down here to add tool. We will choose, just try the neural tone with this clip. We can then go through and pick the one that we like the look of. I think this one's pretty good. And then maybe we'd brighten it up a little bit. Could adjust the white balance if it was too much orange. And a little before and after, this was before, this is after. So it's created this nice cinematic look from this image. So as I said, there's lots of different tools and things in here. I'm definitely not gonna show you them all, but let's come back to our first clip here. Let's make sure that all the color grades and everything are disabled or removed in this case. There's one more thing that I wanna show you and that's this magic mode. So let's press on this. And what this does is it steps you through building out a color grade or a color look 
for your video. So it starts off first with exposure, so that's what we're on now. And then from the previews down the side here, we pick the one that you like the look of. So we could go brighter here, we could go darker down here, and you might say, okay, I like the look of this one, so now let's go across to the next one. And this is the white balance. So we get to choose if we want a warmer looking shot, or if we want a cooler looking shot, we're just clicking through to find what we like with each of these adjustments. And next on to contrast. So it helps you build out the look or the style that you're after step by step, which I think is pretty cool. And again, here's a quick before and after, and we've only gone through the first three. But once you've got the look that you're after, then you can just hit download up here. You can download a LUT or a lookup table or even a color profile here, and you can import that into your editing app or into your editing software. So going back to CapCut, for instance, where we were earlier in the video, instead of applying all of these effects and things in here, we could use a tool like film.ai and we can generate that LUT file or the look file. We can then come over here to adjustments, basic, and we can upload that file in here. And that then will apply that look to our clips. Now, in terms of pricing for film.ai, there's a few different options, including the free plan that we were just on to play around. But you can see they've got plans starting at $5.75 per month if billed annually, which gives you access to a lot of their features and functionality in there. If you want to access specifically that neural tone AI and unlock a bunch more features, and that's where you want to be on the pro plan for $15 per month. But again, with all of this, no matter how simple or how advanced you want to get with your color correction or color grading, I want you to remember that it is a creative thing. There's no right or wrong. You get to make the videos how you want them to look. But I'm already pretty impressed with a lot of the AI tools that are out there now, making this process easier. Now, for those of you that wanna geek out on some more AI tools, check out the video that's linked on screen where I share my top five AI video editing tools. There's also a bunch of resources, as always, down in the description to help you out, and I will see you in the next video.